Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of Prehistory in the Dark. I am your host, Darkness the Curse. And before we begin, as always, thank you so much to my generous patrons and our channel members over at our sister channel, History in the Dark. You are the reason why this content remains so small, tiny, adorable. And today, we're going to discuss, well, what exactly was the smallest dinosaur ever? It doesn't really get brought up very much in conversation, because, well, everyone thinks dinosaurs and thinks big chungus, which is fair, which is fair, totally understandable, but dinosaurs were very, very much all over the place in terms of size ratios, so... What is the smallest known dinosaur? Well, so far, because it's possible we'll find new remains in the future, the answer seems to be Aculodentavis, which just rolls right off the tongue. Now, I just want to lead off with the fact that there's a lot of debate centered around this particular creature. We don't have that many remains of it, due to how small it was, and it isn't clear exactly where it falls in terms of categories. Aculodentavis would have lived in the late Cretaceous period, and it's known from two different remains. Right now, there's actually two different species underneath the overarching genus, Congre and Naga. Some argue that it might actually be the same species, just with sexual dimorphism, but it's hard to say. Either way, the point is, this was a small animal, and based off of the skulls, it appears to be an animal that would be very similar to what we would know as a hummingbird. The size ratio is not that different from a bee hummingbird, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny bird. But, again, we only have a skull to go off of, so there's a lot of imagination going into that. It may not have even flown at all, but it was definitely small. The skull itself of Kungre was only 1.73 centimeters in length, and the skull of Naga was 1.42 centimeters. Technically, the bee hummingbird would be a little bit smaller, and technically, that would make the bee hummingbird the smallest dinosaur, since birds are descended from dinosaurs, so they're kind of still under the same umbrella, but I'm talking about prehistoric extinct dinosaurs, proper dinosaurs, actually directly under that. So, we're not going to count the hummingbird for this particular video, but I just wanted to point that out. This creature appears to have been a carnivore, despite its small size, as within a slender snout, it had 23 teeth. For its size, it's estimated it probably had a fairly strong bite, and it's believed, probably because of how small it was, that this animal would have hunted insects. The animal has a mix of traits, common with bird-like dinosaurs, as well as actual birds. And this kind of makes its classification a really tricky process. It's not clear even now exactly where it falls in terms of its lineage. Based on what we know about it, it's believed it's only slightly closer, evolutionarily speaking, to modern birds than something like Archaeopteryx. But given we only have the skull to go off of, there's a lot about it we don't really know. And soon after the research on this creature was published, a number of paleontologists voiced skepticism over whether Ocula dentavis was even a dinosaur at all, as it has much more in common with squamates. Squamata is the largest order of reptiles, comprising creatures like lizards and snakes. So while this animal is commonly reported as being a dinosaur, and even I am currently making a video about it being the smallest dinosaur ever, it's debatable of whether or not it even is. It may have been a reptile, not dinosauria. But research is ongoing with this thing, so that could change at some point if more remains are discovered. There's a lot of controversy over the creature, as you can probably tell, but it's not just about the classification. For one thing, there's an ethical issue. 
Both species were only found in what's called Burmese amber. This animal is too small to be reliably preserved with regular fossilization processes, but it's just small enough that much like small insects, it can get stuck in amber, which it did. That's how we found it. But the thing about that is Burmese amber is mined under brutal conditions using underage labor. And due to these ethical concerns, getting a hold of Burmese amber is somewhat frowned upon because of how it's obtained, which I get, but also there are discoveries in it. So it's one of those things where it's like, how do we even handle this? Also, the original paper calling it an avialin was retracted due to the second tight species discovery and many scientists pointing out that it was probably a reptile, not a bird or a dinosaur of any kind. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that while many articles will say this is the smallest dinosaur ever, it may not have even been a dinosaur, which means that this entire video was pointless. I, I'm, I'm top tier in that. Uh, you're welcome. But now you know that things always change. Classifications are complicated and it's not always clear exactly what something is until a lot of research is done by actual scientists. And I'm not one of those. So, you know, I can only give you the facts as we know them. If something changes on this thing, I will be the first to tell you. Till next time, this is Darkness, and to be dwell a fond farewell.